Hello everybody, Rogue Fox here, and welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition Redstone Tutorial. In this Redstone Tutorial, I am coming to you from the brand new beta, which is 1.16.210.56. And that's because this past Tuesday, Mojang released the Skulk Sensor. Now, for those who don't know, this is a brand new block that will be coming out in the Caves and Cliffs update. And this allows us to essentially have wireless redstone, which I think is very, very cool. Now, this video is not going to be about this block. Maybe I may do a future video uh, focusing more on what it does. But there is a lot to learn still about this, and I just haven't had much time to figure everything out. But what I do know is... Like I mentioned, it is a wireless type of redstone, so it detects movement, vibrations, and sounds up to eight blocks out, which you can see right here. So if I'm jumping around, nothing is going to happen, but as soon as I walk here, a particle will come out, and it will go out to the skulk sensor and activate it. Now, if we have redstone there, it would activate redstone, and depending on how loud the vibration or the sound is and how close we are, that actually determines... The strength of the redstone output so I made a little circle around here so this is pretty much the range of the skulk sensor and that is what we can use basically anything within this area can trigger this thing this opens the door to many redstone possibilities of course with it being wireless redstone one idea that comes to mind automatically is a wireless redstone door which I actually have put one together but we will get to that in another video, because for this video, I thought of a good idea in use for this block. What we have here is a pretty standard wool farm. Now, the sheep has already been sheared. So for those who don't know or haven't seen this build before, what happens is when the sheep goes to eat the grass, the grass turns into a dirt block. The observer detects that change, and then it will power this redstone here. Powering this dispenser, which will then shear the sheep, because we do have the shears here. And then the wool is collected down below by a hopper minecart and goes into our collection chest. Now, with the skulk sensor, this got me thinking. Since it detects vibrations, it picks up on footsteps, can we actually make an industrial-sized wool farm using the skulk sensor? And the answer is yes, we actually can. And the cool part about it is with the skulk sensor, we can actually eliminate the observer from the build altogether. So with that, let me go ahead and show you what I mean. And here is my skulk sensor powered industrial wool farm. So we have all these sheep in here. You can see they are constantly being sheared. And like I mentioned, that's because the skulk sensor here is actually detecting the movement of the sheep. I myself am out of range of it, but as these sheep keep moving, the skulk sensor will detect that and give us a redstone output, which will power all of the dispensers that we have here. Now, in my testing so far, what I've discovered, and like I mentioned, there's a lot to learn about this skulk sensor. If a sheep moves around this center area right below the skulk sensor, it lets off a redstone output of 12. So what I did was I placed 12 dispensers going this way, 12 dispensers going that way with the shears, and as you can tell, they are all being sheared. Now I also upped the tick speed, so the grass is growing back pretty quick, as you can see there, just so we can simulate the growth and then the shearing of the sheep. But yeah, this, this thing is super awesome. I believe I do have 24 sheep in here to go with the 24 dispensers. And nothing is being collected because I think this is this is pretty full. Yeah, this thing is 100% full. And with that, I, I think it's safe to say that this is probably the wool farm of the future when this gets released. So with that, let's go ahead and take a look at how to make it. All right, to get things started, what we're going to do is place in the collection system. And I did drop the tick speed back down to 1 so we keep it in real time. So let's go ahead and start with a double chest right here, just like that. Next, we want to grab a hopper, crouch place the hopper into the back of that double chest, and make sure it's there. You can see it pointing in like that. Now from here, what we're going to do is come out 25 blocks. So 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Go ahead and place a redstone block like that. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. At the end of this, go ahead and place a block up like this, and then a block up on the side of the hopper here. Now go ahead, we're going to grab some powered rails, starting from the center. Let's place one here. We're going to come eight out, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, because that's as far as it goes. If we place one more rail there, it's not going to be powered. So on this block, go ahead and place another redstone block just to finish this off like this. Crouch place the rail on top of that hopper, and then we'll do the same to the other side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Knock that out, place on a redstone block, or you can place down a lever right there. That will also work, and run it into that block there. So that is how this should look so far. And then what we want to do, if I do have it, we grab ourselves a hopper minecart and place it down on the track like so. So that will be the collection system all set up. From here, what we're going to do is grab our grass blocks and above all of these blocks here, go ahead and place all of your grass blocks. Run it all the way down. So this is where the sheep are going to be standing and walking around like that. We have that all set up. And of course, you do want this in the ground because when we want the grass to grow back, we actually want grass to be surrounding these blocks just like that. But for this tutorial, I want you to be able to see everything, so that is why I am building above ground. Next, what we want to do is grab some blocks and right behind it, place down blocks like this. We are going to be placing dispensers on top of all of these except for the center where that redstone block is. So we can just do it right now. Go ahead and place two blocks up like this. Now let's go ahead and grab our dispensers. And again, I am using 24. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 going that way. And then, of course, we are going to have 12. Oops, skipped a little bit. We're going to have 12 going out this way. Now, of course, you do want to make shears and fill all of these dispensers with the shears, but we'll do that off camera. Let's go ahead. We want to crouch place blocks on top of all of these dispensers. And I know I'm going a little quick. So let's go ahead and go all the way down. Again, keeping yourself crouch placed like that. Now what you want to do is grab your skulk sensor, place your skulk sensor right here, smack dab in the middle, and then run redstone dust out like this. And nothing fancy going on here, just regular old redstone dust going along the top of dispensers. And that is pretty much all of the redstone for this build. So we have our collection system down below, and now we have our skulk sensor that will power all this redstone dust, thus powering all of our dispensers. Alright, I went ahead and placed the grass blocks in front. Now, as I mentioned, we want the grass to be around it, and that works out perfectly because what we're going to do now is place glass blocks all the way around to keep the sheep inside. And we want to make this too high, just like that. And I already went ahead and placed the shears in each one. Don't forget to do that or else this will not work. So we're going to run this all the way down. And now what we can do is start placing in sheep. Now, I don't know how many can actually get in here until they can't move anymore. But just to be on the safe side, I did place in 24. So let's go ahead and drop them in. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We've got some babies in there. And it's already going to work. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, and 24. So we can definitely have a lot more in there. Again, this has been dropped down to a one tick speed. So this is what it's most likely going to look like. Now, of course, the more sheep you have, the more the grass is going to be eaten. And we can see the sheep are already being sheared. The wool is being collected. And as they get their wool back, 
it's just going to keep shearing and shearing like you saw earlier. Now we do have the babies in there. Nothing's going to happen to them. Let's drop a couple more fresh sheep in there. And like I mentioned, as they keep walking along and moving around, the redstone is going to come out from the shulk sensor. You can see it's making its way all the way down here. And it is shearing all of the sheep. So with this, again, I'm not entirely sure how the skulk sensor works. There, as I keep mentioning, there is a lot to learn. But as I mentioned, just in my observations, it's safe to put down at least 12 dispensers going out. So we are seeing we are getting the redstone output to come all the way out here. Maybe not all the time. As you can see there, we are too short. But most of the time, most of the time it is it is coming all the way out. And that is determined by, I guess, I'm assuming how close or how much they step next to it. And maybe, so we can see the grass growing back slowly. So, again, kind of experimental at this point. I'm sure we can fine tune this, but I just, man, I am super excited about this skulk sensor. I mean, like I mentioned, we're using no observers whatsoever, just a skulk sensor. Now, I'm not quite sure how we find it, but I mean, this is a whole lot cheaper than lining up a bunch of observers and everything like that. So, all we're using is 24 redstone dust, 24 dispensers, and then I guess the most expensive thing is here would be our powered rails down below. And with that, let's see what we already have just in the couple minutes that we've been doing this. And we already have uh, quite a bit, over half a stack in wool. So yeah, this thing, this thing is super awesome. And with that, this is gonna bring us to the end of today's redstone tutorial. I know this one was very quick, but like I said, I'm very excited about the skulk sensor. I've just been playing around with it, and this is one of the ideas that I came up with, and I just wanted to get it out to you and share one of the things that I discovered. So with that, be on the lookout for more Skulk Sensor tutorials. But for now, this is going to be the end of today's Redstone tutorial. I really hope you all enjoyed. This has been Rogue Fox, and I will see you later.